We're here with Ice Dam 101. Purple snow up on the roof, warm air inside your house, cold air on the outside. Upper 20s is the ideal temperature to find an ice dam. Warm air is going to rise through your insulation, melt the snow, sitting up on your roof, turn it to water. Water is going to flow downhill. The sidewall of your house represents a temperature gradient where you have warm air rising and cold air sitting outside. The water, when it gets beyond that point, will refreeze. As it refreezes, it forms an ice dam. That ice dam itself is not causing the leaking, it's not coming into your house. What causes the problem is the continued snow melt uphill of the ice dam, pooling water which simply overflows your shingles. A shingle roof is not waterproof, it's water shedding. A uh, couple things to note, there's nothing you can do, that's not true. Shovel the snow off your roof. The gutters cause the ice dam, not true, a clogged gutter can accelerate it, however the temperature gradient is what causes your ice dam. Remove the ice. Do not remove the ice. You're going to damage your gutters, your roof shingles, your walkways, landscaping, everything down below. Leave the ice alone. It's not doing any harm. Getting the snow off the roof solves your problem because there's no continued snow melt, no pooling water. Um, just because you don't see water coming into your house doesn't mean you don't have problems. Mold is a big problem here. If you like this video and share it on Facebook, we'll give you $20 off your roof shoveling. Thank you so much for busting the urban myths about ice damming.